Hey guys, this is the Profeder, and today we're going to be doing some land navigation practice. First of all, in this section, we'll be looking at the maps. So once you've decided where you want to uh, go and you found a place that you can hike and uh, have permission to go there, the next thing you would want to do is to get a USGS topographic map of the area. Because topographic maps are great, they show not only uh, where items are, but they also show elevations and give you some idea of the terrain. So what I'm going to do here is to plan a trip in this particular area. I'm going to uh, park my truck here and I'm going to make my way to this little hilltop right here. And while I've been to this area before, I'm going to get to it in a way that I haven't done before. And so this little exercise will help us plan out a trip to this spot, but maybe you can use this to help plan out a trip to some place that you would like to go as well. So once we have the uh, place in mind, what we might want to do then is to take advantage of some other technology that we have and take a look at the Google Earth. Google Earth is great because it allows us to have access to quite recent photographic uh, views of the area and if you can notice here once again this is the place where I'm planning to park my truck and up in here is going to be the area that we're going to. The beauty of Google Earth is that we can see not only the uh, the area uh, kind of from a from a high vantage point but we can zoom into that we can see quite a lot of details the only thing that we can't really notice now is the uh, topography as well, although it does tell us that information down at the bottom of your screen. So what we want to do here is to take a little bit of a plan, a bit of a planning view that we're going to basically uh, leave the truck here, walk up this roadway to a gate that goes into this pasture in here and then we notice here that it's going to be a lot easier to get where we want to go if we will progress straight north along this fence row until we get out in the middle of this open pasture area then we'll take a compass shot down through here to the end of that where we go into the woods and from there we'll make our way to this hilltop which is over in this area so what we'll want to do then is to take a look at our uh, more detailed topographic map of the area and begin to lay out a plan to do that. Now once I've selected the area that I want to go to and checked it out on Google Maps, I like to take my topographic quadrangles and photocopy them in a larger scale. This gives me a kind of a nice size working map to carry with me to the field. It's only on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. I can mark on it if I want and make field notes for future use and then not mess up my uh, typical master map that I use for lots of other things. So what I'll try to do then is to uh, show you once again on this version of the map which is more detailed uh, this area right here there that I want to go to and uh, what I'll do then is remember that my truck is down here and what I'm going to do then is to go up this road through the gate handrail up until about the middle of this particular field or uh, probably a pasture area take a compass shot down through here on pretty much level ground get into the woods here and notice then that I can make my way up this way to my destination then on my third compass uh, shot and I can mostly remain on level ground. Notice that the contours uh, are 10 feet each that this 600 uh, foot contour then and I'm dropping down here 10, 20 and then I can go across this narrow little bridge here at that same elevation and then climb up 20 or 30 feet to the top of this hill without uh, without having a very strenuous kind of a trip and uh, that that should be a lot of that on level ground so we'll set that up and plan that out for you in the second video but this uh, was just part one showing you the maps and kind of how we might plan out a destination and how we might plan how we're going to get there so this is the professor and I'll see you soon